Hi, and welcome to uh, another week in Math and Society. Uh, uh, you've noticed that the growth models, uh, the writing assignment, and the quiz and review sheet uh, have been were extended, and so the quiz isn't until Tuesday. And uh, I know many of you have not finished that writing assignment. I will be in the Math Center today at 11:30 and tomorrow at 11:30, and those will be dedicated primarily to um, answering questions regarding the writing assignment and preparing for the quiz. So um, uh, please take advantage of that. You can also call me, uh, text me if you need some help on any of those assignments. I'd be happy to do that. And please note that in the growth models writing assignment there is a new video that uh, gives a little more explicit detail into how to complete that assignment. Okay, for next week, for the remainder of the week after the growth models, we're done with that, um, we're going to start finance. And um, in finance, we'll cover topics such as investments and uh, loans, as well as retirement uh, living and how to get back from your investments. So uh, those, I'm going to begin lectures this week. That'll be on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 11.30. I'll lecture all three of those days on finance. We'll, I'll also take questions at those times too. Don't forget there's always help at the MC4A. Uh, tutor, tutors are available uh, many hours a week, up to 50 hours a week, so please take advantage of that. Notice that next Monday the finance exercises are due. That is a, that day the tutoring center isn't open because we have the faculty have an assessment work day and so we'll be doing things uh, for the college, uh, uh, maintaining our accreditation. So there's not going to be a lesson that day. Um, and the MC4A is not open that day. But you can still text me because I'm, I will have breaks in that day where I can get together and hopefully respond to any questions you have. And then on Tuesday, the written assignment will be due. And on Wednesday, the finance skills quiz is due. Now, I want to talk about the finance unit. Um, the purpose of this is for you to determine appropriate financial formulas to use, given a scenario, recognizing keywords and knowing uh, if this is based on regular deposits or regular withdrawals, and just kind of the basic nature of investment and loans. Uh, also, you're going to be asked to make some decisions on retirement planning and loan options based on, on facts that are determined by calculating payments and interest. And then we'll look at analyzing a home mortgage and a refinancing scenario. So a lot of this is about really, I think some of the more practical things are going to be car loans and home loans that most of you will face in your everyday life. So again, the lectures are going to be Wednesday, Thursday, this doesn't show it, but at a, and Friday at 11.30. There are three sets of assignments, really. There's the financial exercises, the written assignments. Now, I don't have it on here, but there's also the written, uh, the quiz review sheet, and then again, the finance skills quiz. So, there's the finance chapter in the book largely focuses on using formulas to do the calculations, but I also have videos, and, and you do not need to use the formulas. We have videos that teach you how to use the TI-84 if you have those, and also I recommend that you use the online TVM calculator. Now the TI-84 and the online TVM calculator use the same basic program, so if you Watch videos on how to use the TI-84. That will guide you on how to line, use the online TVM calculator. I also have a couple of videos that are specifically for the TVM calculator. But these are very quick and easy ways to do the calculations. You just have to make sure you know what type of investment you're making, if it's an investment or if it's a loan or if you're getting money out of investment. You basically have three to four types of problems we deal with in this chapter, in this unit. So, 
Uh, make sure you know that there are a lot of resources for this, a lot of videos, and I'll go down below. Well, let's quickly go through the assignments. You have exercises, you have the finance written assignment, you're going to have the finance. Uh, there's a, this is just a quiz preparation video. This isn't really an assignment. That's part of the finance quiz review sheet. Um, and then the finance skills quiz itself. Okay. Those are the four assignments. Now the resources, I want to guide your attention to this. There's a finance question form as usual for, as there is for every unit. These are examples that are going to be used in my lecture on Thursday, Friday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then, of course, there's the textbook that is always available with examples, videos for the text, but also the online calculator is available. And then below that, you'll see the finance uh, TI-84 TVM solver videos. Now this, again, I want to emphasize these videos assist you in how to use the online calculator. And I always have a link. There'll be a link in every assignment and every quiz so that you can have that up and open on your uh, screen. So if you're doing an exercise on one tab, you can go and click on another tab and get to the TVM solver and use it. It's very simple. You plug in some of the values. You'll learn how to use this during the week and uh, during those videos. And it's very quick and incredibly efficient. So I encourage you to use the online solver is really fast. So I hope you hope you find that useful. Okay, that is pretty much it for the week. Um, look forward to seeing you. Uh, and if you have questions for me for the current material on growth models, either the writing assignment or the quiz, and uh, I'll see you Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday in the lectures for finance. Okay, best, best of luck.